Happy birthday, Greg. for a couple of minutes, will you? Sure, Amos. I've seen them. Some people go to their children. Joe Torrey snatched again. We only have a grandson. You remember that night? Yeah. Leo de Rocher. Yeah. He sat right in that chair. Me and the man himself. The lip. Up, Up all, all night. night. Yeah. Discussing the finer points of the great American game of baseball. Well, maybe he'd like to come in and clean twice a week. Today is Greg's birthday. And you forgot. Remember how he was as a boy? Palpitations, Amos. Now to give baseball over to the Japs. He faces a life without salt. Who? Fred. They're selling their house and moving to Florida. Damn it, Mildred. Amos, watch the road. Yeah, but enough of death, salt, palpitations. Amos, look out! to discuss your future, Mr. Lasher. I feel better. I want to go home. You have no home. Your house had to be sold. You can't walk and your wife is dead. You're alone. Yeah. I'm alone. Your medical benefits have run out and Medicaid doesn't cover home care. We found a bed for you in the Sunset Home. It's the best run home in the state. I can look after myself. No, you can't, Mr. Lasher. We think it's the place for you. I want to make the choice. You have no choice. Take 
Welcome to Sunset. I'm going home tomorrow. Hello? Mr. Lash is here. Thank you. I'll be out soon. Excuse me. My walker? I shouldn't be here. Uh, lady, just, just give it to me. Mr. Lasher, I'm Miss Dawes, Daisy Dawes. May I call you Amos? That's my name. I'm head nurse here at Sunset. We're all so very glad you could join us. I see Lydia has already welcomed you. Hester, what time is it? Seven. And what time do we close the day room? Six. And why? It's the rule. How long have you been on the walker, Amos? About a week. Hmm, two broken legs. Five months in bed. We're doing very well. We are? You got a walker, too? <laughs> I can see we're going to be good friends. I got all the friends I need. Uh, this is Roland. He'll show you to your room. Say hi to the peanut gallery, Pops. Bed letters, feelers, finger painters. What are you? Coach. <laughs> Ain't nothing to coach out here. Who's talking about here? I'm getting out. There's only one way out of here. It's in a bag. You want to go out in the bag? Johnny, this is Amos Lasher. Send him back. Amos, this is your roommate, Johnny Kent. I keep getting these old men. Now, what kind of a resort is this? I keep telling you, Daisy, it's sadistic. You send me these guys, I get fond of them, then whap. Dead as a battery. See you around, Coach. I'll need a list of your family and friends. Don't waste your time. Why? They won't visit me here. What's the matter? They find death and old age depressing? Won't be here that long. Where's the phone, please? It's bedtime, Amos. I gotta make a phone call. Tomorrow. I wanna call my grandson. We'll put your name on the list. List? What list? It's one of our rules. You'll learn them. You'll feel much more at home in a day or two. Sleep well. What other kind of rules they got here? Well, you can't go where you want, and all the mail goes through her. Lots of rules. Hey, Chuck. What? You alive? Of course I am. Just checking. My name's Amos. All my roomies are Chuck to me. First Chuck, eight Chuck's back bit the dust, or in his case, gummed it. But his name lives on, passed down from one dead Chuck to another. You are the ninth Chuck since the first Chuck, and the first Chuck up Chuck good. Say it fast, no mistakes, and Grandpa will give you a big wet kiss. <laughs> How long have you been here? Seven years. It's a long time. You get used to it. I sure as hell don't intend to get used to it. I guess I like knowing what's for supper. Guess I like eating when I choose. Well, who, who, who? A pistol. I hope you'll give them trouble, Chuck. Hope you'll give them hell. Count on it. Johnny. Johnny? Yeah? What kind of a place is this? 
Want a piece of advice, Chuck? Sunset survival tip? Just make sure you keep feeling the wind. Wind? You feel it, you're alive. Your aces, your roses, Chuck. You feel the wind, you got something to fight against. There's wind thieves in this place. Watch out for them. He's here. Daisy's cupcake. He comes every Tuesday, like some kind of magazine. Fix us another drink. I won't be long. Lights out. What is this? Girl Scout camp? These are the rules. Is that you, Johnny? Me? Reminds me of this hooker, Francine. There. You should be very comfortable. Whenever my boys bobble up, I'd walk out in the field, take a whiff, and what do you think I'd smell? Francine? That's why I had to set up a fine. Now you go to sleep. said, let go. Ten minutes. Did I see what I think I just saw? What was that? You nailed her. She was easy. <laughs> You're the best chuck yet. <laughs> night. Good night. Clean your cage. Uh -huh. Oh, hey. nice and dry. Okay. What's going on? That time, pops. Well, I washed myself, pal, and I'm not your pop. Hey. Big hand for the new chop. I see your shoe, please. What, what, what's this? Oh, uh, he's a gardener, Tommy Tanaka. You need all the dirt you can get around here. Yeah, Roland found my plant behind the shower yesterday. Other shoe, please. What are you talking about, your plant? Uh, Roland doesn't like me to keep plants. He says they're too messy. So I gotta hide them. Saul Kessler. I ran the biggest delicatessen and catering service in this town. Kessler's finest. We were famous for our whitefish. Not like this Kazarai here. Who's this guy? Winston Beard. My roommate. He collects lint. Come on, Minnie. He don't mean no harm. He likes you. He, wants, he just wants to be friends. The name of the game is follow the queen. <laughs> hey, do you play cards? Yeah, some. Oh, good. We play a little poker now and then. <laughs> Fifteen hours a day, seven days a week. I take it uh, you've met Nurse Tomato? Yeah. They're off to a great start. Hmm. I'd like to use the phone, please. Is that right? Well, you can. Why? Rules. But it's just sitting there. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. What the hell with you? 
Hey, hey, calm down, Amos. What is this crap? Oh, buddy. Please don't make waves. Oh, buddy me. I'm getting out of here. Good. You going first class or coach? Johnny, I'm never going to make that phone call. Hey, how'd my stuff get here? Courtesy of Nursey. She's not such a bad dame after all. Johnny, look. Jesus. My home run ball. Knock, knock. Get your sad old butt in here. I'm too old for knock, knock jokes. I was just on my rounds and... Dear God, it's Santa. Santa Claus. Who's this broad? Mrs. Dalton Dearborn. Dorothy, I'm your good fairy. Fairy? Do gooder. The Christmas party here is something everyone looks forward to. Please, if you'll just help us out, Asanda. Christmas is what? That's a week away. Yes. I won't be here. Oh, I'm so sorry. You insensitive fairy. Oh, I feel like a fool. I'm now, sorry. What I mean is, I'll be out of here by then. Oh. Well, if you're still here, will you do it? Great. Santa Chuck with eight senile reindeer. And a classmy bag full of toys, huh? <laughs> Gentlemen, my work here is one thing I have I feel proud of. I'll find someone else. Uh, no, no, please. Uh... Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. How's that? Thank you. If there's ever any way I can repay you. You can tell Nursie I'd like to use the phone. Right away, and thank you. <laughs> Hey, Johnny. Doing pretty good, huh? I'll get rid of this thing in no time. You know, these nursing homes wouldn't be half bad if they didn't have so many old people in them. Yes, but then where would we be, Mr. Lasher? Uh, Amos. Okay. She's old. Uh, as old as you feel, Sal. I beg to differ. You're as old as who you feel. Hey. And she's old. Hey, that's a lady. Oh, Mazel tov. Let me know when the wedding is. I'll set my pacemaker to chat you. <laughs> Johnny, let me ask you a question. You've been here seven years. You got any idea what you want? Like for lunch? Johnny, I'm old, Chuck. Too old to dig your way out of this hole? Uh, how? With me. What's that? Life insurance policy. $30,000. I can cash it in for 20. Hey, plus Social Security. Yeah. What, what, what kind of place could we get? You tell me. Well, it, it'd have to be an apartment. I, I, I can't take stairs. OK. And I'd want cable. You got it. And I'd have to have my own bedroom because, Chuck, I am no fruit. Sure. <laughs> Deal. about it here, but outside, it, it, it ain't gonna stand. It will, if you want it. No way. It will. How? Because each thing you want turns on one more light in the ballpark. And then you can play all night. Hey, Johnny, you need your bedpan? 
He uses them for planners. Miss Dawes says you can make your phone call now, Coach. Scott? Who is this? Scotty. This is your grandpa. Grandpa, hi. How are you, slugger? Well, never mind me. How are you? Oh, me. Primo, primo. Getting better all the time. Where are you, Grandpa? Well, I'm in this geriatric parking lot. What? Yeah, they call it the Sunset Home, would you believe it? But me and my buddy, my roommate, Johnny, we're getting in the apartment. Well, maybe I can help you, Grandpa. I'm planning on coming out in a couple of weeks. Two weeks? We'll still be here. Gee, I'd like to see you. It's been a long time. Yeah. Grandpa, is there anything you want? Just to see you. I love you, Grandpa. I love you too, Slugger. Johnny? Johnny boy? Well, well, well. What have we here? I wonder why we didn't tell Daisy about this. Because it's none of your business. $30,000 is a lot of money. Who's the beneficiary? Mildred. This money should go to the living. I'm looking forward to seeing you at Santa Amos. We all are. have anything to do with your feelings about your wife's passing? What do you want? O-U-T. Out. And I know what you want. Obey the rules. Drool and gurgle and shuffle off to heaven with a smile. Well, this is the second inning, lady. We got a whole game to play. That's right, Amos. But this is my ballpark, and I'm the manager. So, you play by my rules or you're out of the game. Mm -hmm. Here's your question. What soft drink was invented by Atlanta doctor John S. Timberton? Coca-Cola. Hi, comrades. Oh, Mr. Troublemaker. Can we deal you in? Yeah. Oh, great. I'm in. We're getting punished. She canceled the movie. Yeah, Gandhi. He'd have been a great ball player, Gandhi. Cleats, cap, a little protection under the sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you guys, the name of the game. Hey, look at this. Stuff. You know, they ought to have a TV program for old people. Senility sweep. Yeah, grand prize is a home dialysis unit with a disco pedal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, did you guys see where Santa's hand was when Daisy fell into his lap? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pearl 
broken hip. Hey, you heal. You're strong. Guess it's the end for us, huh, Chuck? Oh, you're talking crazy, Johnny. Hey, did I ever tell you about the time Leo Derosha came over to my house? And we stayed up all night. Did I ever tell you this? Ten times. Well, why'd you let me go on? I like the way you talk. <laughs> what good am I to you now? I'm scared, Amos. Hey, Chuck. It's your Chuck here, remember? The ninth Chuck, the up Chuck, good. But I know how it goes. You fall, crack, get sick, and die. Broken bone won't kill you. It will in this place. Uh -huh. Yeah, but we're moving out of here. Talk to me, Chuck. Tell me. All right. Well, we're getting in an apartment. TV in every room. Eat when we choose. Beer in the fridge. Oh. Of course. Beer in the fridge. Poor Johnny has left us. Did you see or hear anything? Amos in the night? Nothing. Don't let it frighten you. He led a long and happy life. I knew he wasn't going to be with us much longer. It's best for him. Doctor? No, mortician. Shouldn't a doctor look at him? At 80? Got kicked. Heart, probably. You finished? Yeah, all done.
He was my friend. My best friend. Oh, Johnny kicking off. Scared you a little, huh? You'll have a room all to yourself for a day or two. Won't that be nice? Strip it. That damn Tommy. Have you seen him coming in here, Amos? Under the wide and starry sky, dig the grave and let me lie. Glad did I live and gladly die and laid me down with a will. This be the verse you grave for me. Here he lies where he longed to be. Home is the sailor home from the sea and the hunter home from the hill. Advice, Chuck. Yeah? Just make sure you keep feeling the wind. I know how you feel about Johnny. Do you? I loved him too, Amos. I wish you could see that. If you'd like, I can give you something to help you sleep. Sleep? Like Johnny? I saw you, Daisy. I know. No, you don't, Amos. Not yet. Oh, well, I'll nap. You want? Use the phone when you say, but I won't die. When you say. You killed the guy on my team. You answer to me. Amos. 
Amos, you're here because you're meant to be. And when the time comes, you'll be the one who'll understand. <laughs> Believe me, you'll understand. It's prom night. Come and see me, Hester. Please, come in. Gracias. Wow. Something wrong? Something's right. I mean, you look okay. Tea? Sure, sure. It's uh, only tap water and a twice-used bag. But uh, we can pretend. Gypsy violin, palm and palm. I steal them from the cafeteria. I use them once, mm -hmm. put them in this bag, and, well, everyone knows about it. That's a good idea. I've been here four years, and you're the first guest I've ever had. All the other men make me feel like a unwanted birthday present. I better give a pep talk to those old geezers. Oh, the way we describe our senior citizens. Well, welcome. From an old bag to an old geezer. <laughs> I'm sorry about Johnny. Very sorry. Everyone liked Johnny. Yeah. We were getting out. Roommates. We could have made it. The broken hip. Just the time for her to step in. What do you mean? What do you know about Daisy? It always happens then. It's happened before. That's what Johnny meant. What can we do to stop her? What can you do? What kind of a season have I had? Mildred gone, Johnny. Johnny's dead, Amos. Yeah, but didn't have to be. He is. And Medicaid doesn't ever cover mourning. You can do something. I want to. She doesn't own you yet. Morning, Helen. Oh, hello, Amos. How are you doing today? Good. Could you do me a favor? Hmm? Mail this for me. Oh, I couldn't do that. I'd be fired. Amos, hmm? shouldn't you be in arts and crafts? On my way. Just couldn't help admire the fine job Helen does with her linens. Now, can you tell me what that is? Just what it looks like. A brisket. A brisket of beef. Oh. Oh, it's very nice. Oh, thank you. Now, what do you have here, Tommy? Dirt. Dirt? For plants. What kind? Lady, could you get us some seeds, please? Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Now, that's very interesting. You like it? Yeah. Sandy Koufax, Jewish guy. Wouldn't pitch on Yom Kippur. Say, that's some interesting skirt you're wearing. Very pretty. Oh, that's batik. I made it myself in the 60s. <laughs> I'm making this for Kessman. I figured he'd like waking up seeing one of his own people. His birthday is coming up and... Look. Help you? Mail this. Oh, no, we're not supposed to. It's a surprise. It's addressed to the sheriff. Shh. His nephew.
Kessler and Daisy have the same birthday. We want him to help us plan a big surprise for both of them, huh? How many times I gotta tell you, huh? How many times? Come on! Get off of me! Tommy, I'm surprised at you. What are the rules? No plants. That's right. Why? I think you know the answer to that. It's a rule. Yes, ma'am. And the door was wide open? Yes, ma'am. Your key was there in the lock? Yes, ma'am. I see. Maybe we, we should call the sheriff. Absolutely not. I have a responsibility and a duty here. If I cannot keep a senile old man safe, then I do not deserve that honor, do I, Roland? I'll find him. You'll find him in the morning. He could die out there. Don't you have some work to do? I know I do. Time topic. Out in the rain, looking for a plant for me. Looking for some sense, you mean? And it runs away in the middle of winter. But running. 84, look, but guts. Hey, Winston's got a place on my team anytime. Uh, rah, rah, rah. So let's all go out and spend the night in the rain. Why not? It's an adventure. We're a team. Uh, you're not on my team. I ain't hungry. You fooled Johnny, but not me. A place of your own. Where? How? I'm a practical man. Practical? You're a quitter. A quitter? At 80? You go try it out there, Amos. I'll send you a postcard. Care of the park bench. All the roomies in the world, and I gotta end up with the crazy one. It's what you are, you know, when you're just crazy. But I got a plan for you. I know you did. You sure did. Well, 
Honey, don't die, okay? Please. Don't die. We have a visitor, Amos, in the day room. Mr. Larson. Take a seat. Got your letter. I thought I should come see you. Sheriff, nothing here is what it seems. What? No one talks. They're scared. The nurse senses our mail. We can't use the phone. We can't go outside when we Mr. want. Mr. Lasher, Mr. Lasher, listen. There are certain rules that they, they have to make for a place like this. Rules about murder? Nurse Dawes came into my room one night. She thought I was asleep. I saw her kill my roommate, Johnny Kent. These are very serious charges, Amos. Yes. Maybe you were dreaming. It was no dream. I saw her. Maybe you saw something that can be explained. Listen to me. It's the truth. Well, she kills me. Would you believe it? Oh, whoa. Come on now, Amos. You better not write any more letters. Sheriff, no more. Yeah. Oh, man. See now. A fool. Thanks for your time, Sheriff. <laughs> I'm sorry about all this, Daisy. His, his letter made some sense. <laughs> <laughs> They're always writing letters the police, to the president, to God. You have to understand. They come to me terrified. Sorry. I felt bad for the old guy. Oh, well, don't worry about Amos. I know what to do with him. You're an unusual woman, Daisy. <laughs> no. Thanks for coming. Well, you can wash yourself again. Amos, I think you're going to get smart. Not bad for an old man. You got to learn the rules, Coach. You make trouble for us, we make trouble for you. saw you talking with the sheriff. Yeah. He looked at me like I was howdy doody crying murder. Daisy holds the cards, Hester, all of them. Maybe I was dreaming about Johnny. Maybe I ought to just give up and die quiet. You old fool. Old fool? Yes. When you talk like that. <laughs> well, I've been a fool all my life. You know, I used to tell people I was a baseball manager. I was a coach. Big mouth, a bragger. But an old fool. I like it. It sounds distinguished. <laughs> I feel good right now. It's not so bad being old. What is it the poets say? Grow old, along with me. The best is yet to be. The last of life, for 
which the first is made. You'd better go. It's not prom night. Yeah. Daisy finds me here, she'll kill me. Convenience. Come on, the bus is here. I can't, I can't do it, Sal. I just can't go to any more funerals. Friends of mine. See Amos Lasher? I'm sorry, these aren't visiting hours. Oh, look, I, I've driven a long way. Uh, I'm his grandson, Scott Lasher. Oh, he talks a lot about you. I'm Nurse Dawes. Daisy Dawes. I told him we have rules about I that. think we can stretch the rules in this case, Helen. Phone Amos and tell him to go to his room. His group are having their x-rays taken, but he'll be delighted to see you. see you. What's wrong? I don't know. It's just <laughs> this place. Me, you mean? Well, you've changed. I got old, Slugger, that's all. <laughs> yeah. This is one of my good days. <laughs> <laughs> home sweet home. Sit down. Oh. Picture of your dad. I'm sorry you never knew him, Scotty. You ever play ball? Sure. I'm on a team. You know, a couple guys at work. Shortstop. <laughs> How'd you know that? My position. Your dad's. <laughs> Grandpa, what was this you're telling me on the phone? Where are you going to move to with your roommate? Plans have changed. Grandpa, come live with us. Oh, I couldn't do that. Why not? I'd be too much trouble. No, we've got lots of room. Debbie's a great cook. We want you. I know, Scott. I'm not sure. Grandpa, you're our family. Leaving you in a place like this all alone, that's not right. All right. Let's discuss it with Nurse Dawes. I'll talk to her. You're a good boy, Scott. You're a man now. You know the last time I saw you? <laughs> Sal, I'll meet my grandson, Scott. Scotty, this is Sal Kessler. Hi, Sal. Oh, how do you and do? This is Tommy Tanaka. Hi. 
we're kind of the three musketeers around here. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're the three stooges. <laughs> My grandson comes all the way from Ohio. Oh, that's a long way. Daisy's office is just around the corner. Okay, great. We'll be in the day room. All right, nice to meet you. Oh, and uh, thanks for taking such good care of my grandpa. Mm -hmm. I'm in. Yeah, me too. No? Amos? Are you in or not? I'm in. Uh, uh. Why not? My grandson wants me to come live with him. Nice looking boy, your grandson. Thanks. Lives in Ohio, huh? Yeah. You know, if I had a place to go, I'd be out of here in a minute. Yeah, but Ohio, that's so far. Cold, too. You'd go, too, if there was anybody out there insane enough to want you. Mm. Mm. Amos, I suppose you know how lucky you are. I'll miss you. We all will. We can leave here in the morning, Grandpa. Amos? I can't. What do you mean? I'm sorry, Scott. I can't go. Well, well what about us? What about your family? Right now. This is my family. I don't get it. Come on, Scott. Let's talk. Amos, I got a full house. Me too. <laughs> I just want to see the car. Mm -hmm. Try to understand, Scott. Grandpa, I just don't want to leave you here. I want you with us. I can't go with you, but... You don't know what it means to me that you want me. Are you sure, Grandpa? Are you absolutely sure? Look, you can come with me right now. We'd, we'd be home tonight. I'm sure. Grandpa, I think you need more time. Listen, how about if I stay here tonight? We'll see how you feel about it tomorrow. No. Nothing would change by tomorrow. Maybe in the spring? Yeah, maybe in the spring. left with your grandson, and I would have lost you forever. And I said to myself, damn it, I want a prom night, too. Huh. How about a senior prom? It's okay. I've been waiting in that bull ring too long. What you mean, dear, is that bull pen.
What's going on? County commissioners. They come once a year. Someone tips her off before they come. Hello, everyone. I'm Bert Daniels, county commissioner. We're just looking around to see how you folks are coming along. It's always such a pleasure to come out to Sunset. Why, thank you, Mr. Daniels. Mr. Miller, why don't you take the men's wing and uh, Mrs. Berberi's new nurse doors? Why don't you take it through the women's wing? Of course. Tell him. Mr. Daniels, mm -hmm. I'm Amos Lasher. Hello. I'd like to talk to you. Oh. Tell me how I can help you. We want to tell you about Sunset. <laughs> I know. I know I hear it all the time. That Nurse Dawes is a Jew. Appearances are sometimes deceiving. What do you mean? There are things that happen here. What kind of things? Beatings. Denial of privileges. I don't believe that. That's the truth. Have you told anyone about this? I tried. Well, maybe I should talk to some of the other people. They won't talk. Why not? They're scared. Scared of what might happen to them. What could happen to them? Mr. Daniels, I saw Nurse Dawes kill my roommate. It's all right, Bert. He tells that to all our visitors. They're both quite harmless, really. Come on, let's talk to some of the others. This is Saul Kessler. And how do you find life here, Mr. Kessler? Tell him. Saul? I... I like it fine. And Tommy Tanaka? Oh, yeah. I like it fine, too. You know, you're all very lucky to be here. Have you seen the new setup in the x-ray room, Bert? Hey, Amos. You were right about me. I'm a coward. Yeah, me too. No, no, guys. It's not your fault. It's mine. And I'm sorry I got you into the sister. I wasn't using my head. I should have talked to him alone. your eye on? Tell me. Maybe we can make a deal. Perfume? Lipstick? Look at yourself. Look! You look like a clown. An ugly old clown. You want to be nice and pretty for Amos? Well, you can be his little painted dummy. You need him to talk, don't you? hardly said a word for four years. Then he came, and you practically ruined everything I tried to build here. You think you can take me on? Oh! We have rules, and I'm making a new one. Stay away from Amos. Maybe you've been here too long. Maybe that's it. How long 
Yeah, you better. You sleep so calmly. As if you have your whole life in order and figured out. Mm. I got you figured out. No, you don't. Or you wouldn't have said what you did to the sheriff and the commissioner. The truth? I could dump you off downtown and you could blab to everyone. They'd just laugh at you. <sighs> Maybe you're right. I was telling my hairdresser just last week that Amos Lasher has been going around telling everyone that I kill patients. Do you know what he said? He said, oh, you poor dear. How can you put up with that with all you do? Uh, that's a good question. You had your chance to leave with your grandson. Why didn't you take it? You're different, Amos. I knew that the first day I saw you. Did you? You're special. You're special, too. Get dressed. I have something to show you. Look, Amos. Johnny Kent, your roommate, 79 years old. Broken hip. $2,000 for the pin. Physical therapy, oh, estimate 30 hours, $50 an hour. Total $1,500. That's a lot of money. Winston Beard, pneumonia. Oxygen, train technician, minimum $3,000. I can't afford that. There comes a moment where they know they have a duty to die. I see that moment. That's my moment, Amos. Mine. It's so clear. I see it, and I act. Daisy, does money enter into this? Oh, of course. Every nursing home takes money. Any profits for you? Oh, Amos. I thought you'd understand. Hmm. I understand enough. I've seen enough. No, you haven't, Amos. Not quite. Cancer. Looks almost beautiful when you look at it this way, doesn't it? A shadow, resting on a shadow. Why not just kill me now? Oh, no, Amos. Who knows how long you could live? But it takes such expensive treatments. Is it really... Serious? Really. Do you have a life insurance policy? You know I do. Then sign it over to me. That's what you want. Well, we could borrow against it. Prolong your life.
I'm leaving tomorrow. I miss you. Any juice, Amos? I'd rather have a beer. <laughs> Helen, mm -hmm. do me a favor. Deliver this to Nurse Dawes. Certainly. Lasher. I'm not complaining. Good. I need your help. With what? Daisy. What about her? Oh, fine woman. Oh, a saint. And so attractive for a saint. Underappreciated. When I think of everything that she does here. I know. I know. Can you keep a secret? I am the soul of discretion. Next week, we Daisy's tenth year at Sunset House. Oh, that's right. We're planning to do something for that occasion. I love it, but what? A surprise party. Wonderful. I'm writing a letter to the commissioner. Now, he should be at our party. Oh, absolutely. With the committee. Marvelous. Mrs. Dearborn, I'd do anything to see that Daisy gets what she deserves. So would I. So would I. I'll pick up the letter on my way home. Thank you. Not now. I was talking to Daisy. You didn't? Not a word. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Dearborn, you're a good fairy.
I missed you. Are you seeing another woman? Yeah. Daisy. I thought you forgot. I didn't forget. Don't move, please. I don't know when I've ever seen anything that looks so good to me as you do right now. I never thought I'd fall in love at 74 and feel the way I did when I was 17. I hit my first home run with this ball, right out of the park. Mister, do you think I'm too old to hit another home run? I don't think you're too old for anything. I'm going to die. We're all going to die. I have cancer. Daisy showed me the x-rays. How much time do we have? Time enough to hit one more out of the park. Hester, listen to me. Please try to understand. Wake up. What are you doing up so late, Roland? Split shift, Coach. Well, every shift out here is the graveyard shift. <laughs> you get it? Yeah. I get it. That's what I always tell the guys down in Maui's. That it's a howl. You get back to your room. Move it, old man. Did you hear me? Yeah. I heard you. Fatso. <clears throat> I know a lox when I see one. Come on, so let's get him out of here. Okay. Oh, never laid a hand on me. Oh, we ought to go get some ice. No, no, no. Get back to your room. Gee, Amos, maybe you would have been better off living with your grandson. I miss this? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, Hall of Fame. Now get out of here. <laughs> Are you sure you're going to be okay? So. The way you swing that bat, you can play on my team anytime. Mm, Miss Sugar.
I picked the time, Daisy. Clean this place up. What's the matter with you? We have people dying here all the time. Hester, how long would I be around? Then what happens to you? I love you. It's the only way. Oh, John, I'm sorry I'm late. But with Roland in the hospital, it's just been hell around here. Yeah. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I picked up Amos Lasher's medical file. Of course not. I don't have any secrets from you. I'm probably reading the thing wrong, but I don't see any regular medication here. He didn't need any. John. Let's not talk shop. It's been such a dreary week. I've missed you. Barbiturates given to any of the residents here? Yes, of course. What? Whatever was required. Who can get at it? Only me. Are you sure? Absolutely. Keep them locked up. Who gives it to them? I do. I always do. I'm the only one qualified. Do you have any idea what happened to Amos's face? <sighs> Probably a fall. Amos was always falling. Corner thinks it looks like several blows. Oh, well. I think you should know they're going to do an autopsy. Well, hell, if the county has money to burn. Don't you want to get comfortable? I can't. I, uh, I got to go back to the office. Hester? Did you see Amos after I told you not to? It's against your rules. Go to sleep. Who can <gasps> sleep? What are you two doing up? You go back to bed right this minute or I'll make sure... Oh, what? You'll call Roland? I can give you his number at the hospital. Back to bed. Now. No more day room for a week. And you, you stay put until you hear from me. Move! Darling, please, let me be useful. I can save you and the others from Daisy. see why we couldn't have talked at my place. We could have done a lot of talking. Daisy, listen. <laughs> oh, hi, Bert. Miss Dawes. I received a letter yesterday from Amos Lasher. <laughs> Well, we all know about Amos's letters, don't we, John? He writes he had reason to believe you were going to murder him. What? Oh, God. come on, Bert, that's ludicrous. He suggested that in the event of his death, we conduct an autopsy. Daisy, there was <laughs> enough barbiturates in him to kill several men. But, but that, 
Uh, that's impossible. I don't believe it. Did Amos Lasher sign over his insurance policy to you? Yes. Yeah, yes, it was for the home. I, I, I was going to give it to you along with the rest of his things when I saw you next. Mr. Lasher writes, she forced me to sign my life insurance policy over to her. He said that? Well, it's a lie. I hereby rescind that and name my grandson, Scott Lasher, and Miss Hester Farrell as joint beneficiaries. Bert, come on, I mean, he, he was out to get me. There's one every year. You see, well, they, they come to me terrified, and, and I have, um, John, take me back to Sunset where I belong. John? I'm taking you into custody, Desi. Why? For the murder of Amos Lasher. You bastard! You think you can get away with this? The whole town will know whose bed you've been sweating in! Can your wife handle that? Do you think it's a privilege taking care of these pe people? Cleaning up their, their vomit and their sweat and their dirty beds? That's my life! I live with that! They don't pay me enough for what I do in that dungeon. I deserve some respect, some reward. So a few of them die sooner, but not Amos. I didn't kill Amos. I didn't do it. It wasn't his time. Get her out of here. I didn't. Get her out of here. It wasn't his. No, John, I didn't do it. John. Just one more home run.